Hello, I'm John, and today we're going to be making a quick stencil with the X-Tool LaserBox 40 Watt Rotary Edition. Let's get to it. First, some safety concerns. As always, make sure your stencil material is laserable. I use 0.4 and 0.7 mil mylar. For settings and for more information, join the LaserBox Facebook community. If your stencil is going to have text, the first step in designing is to download a stencil font. Having a working stencil font for lettering saves you a lot of time and it makes sure that your letters come out clear and readable. My go-to stencil font is Butler Stencil, which you can find free online. With complicated shapes, you'll need to look for dangling pieces and parts that will be cut out completely, as those won't show up in your stencil when it comes to painting. With your stencil file prepared, let's load up the mylar. It also helps to have some small magnets to hold it down so the air assist doesn't move the material during lasering. Let's enter the settings and press go. Look how fast the stencil's made. Try and avoid multiple passes as that can melt the material edges, leaving you with a less crisp stencil. When using paint or ink, remember less is more. And attach your stencil with tape or spray adhesive to hold it so that it doesn't move while you're painting. And it's that simple. Stay tuned for more videos on how to unlock the potential of your X-Tool machine. And as always, have fun lasering!